Pretty dominant on the lane, yeah. and I feel DP actually has, has an advantage over the Razor on the lane. You think Darkseid will be a great finishing hero for, for them? I mean, we have the vacuum. Vac Always able to escape, or should be able to escape. Plus the level 2 Iron Shells do work, but Kuro moves over, he's got one in everything right now, so he can drag KP back in a bit, and there comes the glimpse, the wall is up, a perfect gust, the surge is there for KP, and he can still run, remember that's a level 2, can't go all the way down, and this should be first blood right now! Even leaves a, an extra Iron Shell over on Kuro, just a little duel between Jirax and Hal. In fact, Hal's gonna stand up, attacking into Jirax, dropping him very low, then he takes the tower. So they find that one while up on top lane, Mind Control, crushing up, trying to run away too. They get more, Chuan, surge forward, he then comes again, there's still no amplification. So while all this is going on, Team Liquid, they're using their throw, and now, okay, dive into Nova, Hal gets the stun over a Mind Control, is all out of back out, and still the glimpse, drags Hal back underneath the Tier 1 tower. He was still fairly tanky, it took him a while, but Liquid, Fata, low 60. But Sunray is balanced. And Liquid trying to make a statement Where's with that one here they come down the dive is going to come forward instantly into the nova split a blast not bouncing around how's going to get stunned up he's not in a great position they're trying to get rid of that nova red can't do it jirak will pop out finding the sun into the sun ray too they're still underneath this tier one tower team liquid but they're taking the fight Fata moving from support to now core over to how armor toggle time we're combining it with the cold embrace there's no follow-up damage so liquid will move over towards Karkar instead staying inside the trees how try to lock Fata in but the storm is up from Kuro. how finds the kill but He's blocked inside the wall, he'll die of the storm, and then with the stun over on Mo, the gust from the Tumberman, he's playing from the tree line. Mo is so low, but still alive, KP can't reach, but Tumberman, he's so close! Now with the surge, he just wants a punch arm! Now he's got it! My control with the stun, but the iron shell damage is too much. My control has to back up with a movement in from Mu. He mops up Jirax. And Newbie, five-man smoke maneuver, they're coming over to the Dire Ancients at the moment. Which Liquid are farming up, and now Karka, does he go for the curse? Gets the vision up, Mind Control looking for the Copper Crush too. The silence, okay, they curse over on Disruptor. Now push Mind Control over the Sunray, trying to keep him up, and again, that cleave damage! How? Carving up the two. And Team Liquid, they still want Roshan, amplification is on him, but look at that surging up. There's your stun, they're gonna catch out Disruptor. How wants a quick kill. Sean will end up stealing the lightning. But with the amplification up, they don't have their disruptor, they don't have their big AoE control, you can come in for a Nova, they're actually gonna smoke, they're coming back in again, the smoke's gonna be broken right now, KP was the one on the front line, the Roshan almost down, How finishing the job, picked up the Aegis the Immortal, you're going to lose KP for this, the Cold Embrace from Karka being used on himself, but then the pick up on Matama dragging him in very very close, no way to run away, or maybe up the hill, Fata Curse, he's gonna stay exactly where he is, Mind Control, Fata, now they come back and finish the job, the double silence from Mu, Yurak will get the stun, there's a little bit more time thanks to that Nova, they'll burn through the Aegis the Immortal, but move the Spirit Cypher is doing some work here for Avada, they just need a little bit more damage, my control with the Crypt Swarm is dropping him low, okay, a double damage rune just magically spawns up from Mu, but he misses up hill, attacking into my control, he'll still try to have a crack over towards Vader, but down the bottom tier is Kuro, who's on the run from Hal, the stun's up in two, one, the Kree Wave gives the vision, Hal needs to get in range, Kuro break for the trees, stay in the trees, down into the tree line, the Kree Wave can't follow him in there, but how the loop around the back by Kuro and Lum -lum. Very quick with the Echo Saber. Now this fight, the tier one tower will drop, but you've still got how forcing in that bottom lane, but they're gonna start the fight up on top of the back, and the Nova will be coming out. The suns are still pretty good, but Mu blocked inside the storm. Mu is gone straight away. The Exim is already burned. So there's no point for a buyback, and they run into the trees. KP will drop as well. And Team Liquid, they take the fight quite handily, and now they'll find Kaka over in the tree. How wants to help out the stun, he needs the cleave, the curse is out however, making it so how can't really do that much damage, but now he can get a little bit more control, my control, the cleave is coming in again, the split blast, Kaka just keeps pumping it out from the rear end, and Chorn moving forward, he's got crushed stolen, looking for it on my control, he's actually gonna miss it out, and now Chorn will die as well! Kaka and Hao are still on the run, they know it's like 10 seconds, that's all they need to do. Where they're waiting under the cover of smoke, Dro's gonna show herself, Chuan moves up, they understand they're up there, blink rush, it's the Nova, Chuan and Mu, they're burning up too quickly, Chuan locked inside that storm, the Nova's about to pop as well, Mu, KP and Kaka, they can't go anywhere, the sun ray's turned on, my control all over it! They're gonna bring down at least two either way, because Hao ripped apart the back line, bringing down the Dro Ranger. Jurex also has to be careful, he's actually dying to himself at the moment. It's the wall illusion which is attacking him. Thanks to the spirit, he'll be able to survive.
The two for two trade-off as both teams walk into each other. And now KP up on the top, mind control. The surge is still up for KP. He needs the distance so he can start the blink, but because you actually have the amplification on him, KP wants to run and they have the damage. The Dark Sea all expect where how as well as Kaka want to initiate from. Roshan's low. Roshan, in fact, will now go down. How? Because he gets hit by the blink, but by the by the snake. Can't blink out. In fact, it's gonna be the blink in. Coming from Mike Control for the BKP with God Strength. They rip through the slaughter. And with a pickup on the Drow Ranger from uh, from Chuan, Tom is into a bit of a bad position. But still, it's now a Roshan trade-off. Fortification is up for Team Liquid. They're blinking out. Jirak in through the tree line. The pickup from Chorn. Thanks to the Observer Ward. They saw Jirak coming. The damage is high with the Thans as well. The Storm Bolt's going to be there. So Phoenix is out of the fight. Unless she wants going to surge over on Chuan And have a very quick glimpse of Matumban and Kuro coming down. But it's Hal who's trapped. He BKBs. Goes for the sun. Finds Kuro. Probably take one hit. Nothing. It's going to be two to get the kill. And then they move over to Matumban. Point in the distance. And another quick pop. The Nova will pop down, Pally's run away from this, he's so low on life, the Mystic Snake is not enough to kill him off, it's the rest of the fight with the Yules up from Mu, able to evade the fight, they're TPing up, how? He's actually TPing up a my control, finds him in the tree line, a big kill, Slaughter getting over. I understand the Team Liquid are here in force in the mid lane, but if they can get that jump, the Sun's over on fire, they trigger the Lincoln Spear, how? will get the Sun as well, but it's up on the cliff side, KP to back the wall, not really having that much of an effect, but they still want Fighter down, with the Nova however, and the Stone Gate, they can't can't go anywhere, the split jump from Fighter! Moves the bad design at the end with a Jirak pop! They find the kill, KP to go! How to join him in the grave! The three cores have been lost here for Noobie! And Team Liquid with a 75 second window until this Ven's back up again, they can go straight down the mid. Don't worry about Roshan, you're claiming Rax. And Newbie with the right idea there. Completely south for Newbie. You can see it again here, the VAC, the control, it just doesn't happen at the same time. Back in the real world. Oh wow, that is such a horrible, horrible time. But back in the real world, Sean. Having a little bit of trouble, locked inside the wall. The Cold Embrace keeping him alive a little bit. They get through the tier 3 tower. He steals Mystic Snake. The Chorn is now down too. He has buyback. But you accept the fact right now, Newbie. You've lost your mid racks. Liquid, they can rotate down to the bottom lane, but they do not want to overstay their welcome. 21 seconds now until this Ven's back up. Looks like the dream to get back into that final. Radiance top tower. Maybe this time around they're able to win the major. Yeah. Goodbye, the creep wave. How's going to cleave it? Now the curse over on Fata. They need this Medusa down with the back. The wall will come up as well. Fata being controlled up by the Rubik. Remember, Fata still has that team available. Now he's going to trigger and still losing a lot of life. The jump in from Jirak. He doesn't follow up the Nova, but the exorcism is there from Mu. Matama wants to try and fight this one. The Nova is down. How cold embrace. He can't walk away from the Nova hit. He's going to pop, and now he's down. Instant buyback. They need to keep fighting. Newbie needs some extra kills here. They need to hold their racks. The mid lane's already been pressured, but Liquid and giving them the opportunity. They've bowed all the way back up to their own high side. Goodbye to that too. Kaka blinks away. How needs to walk with him too. In fact, he's not even going to walk. He just blinks out. There's a little bit of trouble. Mu is trapped. Remember, no buyback. He already bought the Shiva's gun. The Yule steps are up and Kaka, he can't come close. but he gets locked in by Kuro. Mu will walk past the storm, but he's down. One minute without the Death Prophet. Liquid. They are very close to doing it. KP, this is his one moment. The back, the wall, the double stun. They need that big damage out, but they just don't have it. They try and push forward, but then the stone gate, Pal being crushed. They're going to focus him down. If Pal goes, it's over. They've lost too much, and there it is, GG! Team Liquid are going to the grand finals of the Manila Major. The Medusa pick with a stroke of genius by Kuro. It is just incredibly good at dealing with the spin. All these rage heroes. Fantastic positioning, did not get caught by a multiple man. Curse, wall, which Newbie were just hoping for, praying for the entire game. And with that, Newbie will exit the tournament. With that they will, they'll have to settle for third place in Team Liquid. Two major finals in a row. The big question we're going to find out, are they capable of winning it this time around? They hit a hurdle last time. And this